Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today's video is about a review of our foundation and it is the most rare foundation which has been launched in India recently. I think you have guessed it right. It is Maybelline's Superstay 24 hours foundation. So this is the most rare foundation and many uh, YouTubers abroad use this foundation and it has been compared with Huda Beauty foundation by uh, Nikkei's tutorial and it uh, almost uh, it was equivalent to uh, that foundation like which uh, the Huda Beauty's uh, foundation retails for almost 2,990 whereas this retails for rupees 750 so that's a very steep uh, pricing but still it gives the same effect of that foundation and you can uh, very well check that out and uh, so i have done uh, like uh, i've done the two sides like using both the tools uh, foundation uh, brush and the sponge so let's get into that first and then we'll come up with the other uh, points let's start the video so about this i'm just going to talk a little later on so let's I'm, I'm going to just use this is a try on uh, tutorial so wherein like one of one side of my face I'm going to use a brush and the other side with the sponge so let's see how it performs so this sh this shade is quite darker for my skin tone uh, because like I just personally picked this uh, foundation because like, I have many Mm, foundation which is quite lighter so I thought I'll mix this foundation with them to get a perfect match so wantedly I've just taken a little bit darker foundation but then um, I am NC 35 in MAC and 230 natural buff I guess natural buff uh, natural beige or natural buff I just update it here so that is the foundation which is the correct match to my skin tone uh, but still I wanted to test it uh, and I've seen that I've heard that this uh, foundation oxidizes so that text also will do it in my rest so we'll do it later on so first let's start with the half of uh, uh, like crayon so first I'm going to use a brush uh, this is Pax uh, 257 brush uh, flat top kabuki brush I'm just going to use this uh, the right side of my face and left side I'm going to use this sponge so first I've already for your information I've just prepped my face prep means I washed toned it and uh, I have uh, applied more full moisturizer here one more thing I have choose I've chose this uh, shade is because like during summer I, I tend to tan a little bit so that it will be a good uh, match see as you can see it has got a very good coverage so I've just taken a few see I've just taken two pumps and still one more pump is left out it is it is covered up all the I have a certain black marks here and it is covered to an extent this is the one layer of the foundation see there's a good difference Now I'm going to use the sponge for the other side. So I've taken the wet sponge. Like definitely um, with sponge, it tends to shear it down. It's an general uh, property of her uh, 
uh, sponge it will just shear down for full coverage for an intense coverage always you should use a brush whereas uh, for a mild coverage uh, comparatively mild coverage you can just go with the sponge So it's definitely a uh, full coverage. I don't know how far the camera is picking, but still I can see, uh, see like there's a bump here, so that is seeing, but still uh, the darkness here it has gone. So if you're going to color correct, and finally it is going to a good, give you a good uh, finish. Been covered. Mm. It has worked. It's worked uh, good in, with the, both the tools, like with sponge also and with the uh, brush also. It works good with both the sides. So both the sides looks even. The only thing is that you'll have a good coverage, like still more coverage comparatively using a brush. But it blends very smoothly, and there is no caking up even I used primer underneath so even without primer like it is working out well so with primer it will work still more better I'll go with the second uh, coat of foundation Extend as you can see, even my darkness around my eyes has been covered. See, like I've just caught a bit of coverage, but still, I don't feel any cakiness on my face. But uh, make sure that you prep your face well that is like uh, you moisturize your face well as it is a matte foundation sometimes it tend to uh, cake up for a uh, dry skin people but though I have a dry and combination kind of skin like during winters I'll just get a dry skin but still I don't feel any cakiness as I've already moisturized well so, so I've just taken this uh, tissue paper now it has been still it's almost uh, two to three minutes I've just uh, applied the foundation I've applied two four layers of foundation and I have not used any setting powder as of now so I just see how far it is transferring see this one lily a little strain there is no much transfer as you can see there is no much transfer only very little amount of uh, product is transferred let me just finish off my makeup and uh, come back let's talk about the other parts of the foundation other criteria or other points about this foundation so first one is going to be packaging and this comes in this glass bottle foundation with the cap on and uh, white cap uh, it doesn't look uh, cheap at all and uh, the only one good thing is that from when compared to the Maybelline's fit me range is that that doesn't fit me uh, foundation doesn't come with the uh, pump whereas this foundation has got a pump and it really works well so which means that there is no um, uh, like half right of uh, product wastage and you can very well travel with this uh, foundation it's a travel friendly foundation so that is the one very good thing about uh, the uh, fit, uh, super stay range when compared to the fit me range so second one is the price and the quantity so the quantity is 30 ml as usual of 
like other uh, Maybelline foundation and the amount you are going to pay for this quantity is rupees 750 the next point is that uh, the texture texture is matte the finish is matte and it is not too runny or not too thick and it is somewhere in between so it is um, it, is, it gives you a matte finish and uh, the usage I would say is that you just apply a good coat of moisturizer and then use this foundation but still it doesn't cake up I have used two uh, layers of foundation but still I don't feel any cakiness around my uh, any, in any part of my face and it is a very good uh, sign for foundation but still you can use a, a good amount of moisturizer so that you will not have any other dryness issues for extremely dry skin you very well it is better to use a moisturizer and for oil it is best well suited for oily skin as i've said it's a matte foundation it is it will suit oily skin people very well next point i would say is availability availability as you know maybelline is available both offline and online you can get it very easily so availability is not an issue at all for this foundation and uh, one more thing like how it performs next point is how it performs with other products so even that is very important for a foundation like few pro foundation tends it doesn't allow the other products to blend in easily but this doesn't do that and uh, i've used concealer contour uh, highlighting all almost all the things uh, about the foundation and it blends very smoothly and uh, even blush everything is working very well and it has blended out beautifully the longevity longevity as it is mentioned it claims that it is a 24 hour foundation though like nobody is going to use it for 24 hours uh, but still like it it i have just wore this from morning 10 o'clock till evening 7 o'clock it's almost 9 hours i wore this and i do not feel uh, any caking up of uh, foundation and it performed really well so you can very well wear this foundation for six to nine hours for sure and the oxidization so i've seen many youtubers say claiming that it is quite oxidizing and even i wanted to test so here i've already swatched uh, for this foundation a bit ago now i'm going to swatch it afresh and this will show you whether it is oxidized or not see it's definitely oxidizing as you can see I just wanted to show this is I've used it before half an hour and this is the freshly swatched as you can see how far it has oxidized you can very well see the oxidization path it definitely oxidizes so better choose a foundation like you go to the counter and just choose a foundation a little lighter than your skin tone that's it about the main uh, I think I've covered all the uh, main points and um, and let's go with the pros and cons uh, quickly start with the positive point uh, the first pro i would say is its availability availability is as i said it is available both online and offline next pro is that it coverage it has got a full coverage foundation and those who are like we are willing to use this full coverage kind of person can very well go with this foundation it is definitely a full foundation and next is that uh, it, uh, as it is a full coverage you do not want to use any concealers under it though i will use today because i just wanted to show you how it performs with other products so that is the reason why i have used the uh, concealer but still you can very well use this foundation without the concealer also and it definitely covers up all the blemishes and uh, fourth one is that it doesn't cake up so though i have used two layers of foundation i still i, I don't feel any cakiness around in my face so it doesn't cake up even though it is a matte foundation and next is that uh, it has got a good travel friendly packaging and uh, it has got a pump and you can very well 
uh, travel with this uh, foundation and the price also I would not say it is a streepy but still uh, Maybelline Fit Me has got three uh, 500 rupees but uh, I would say this is, this is a way more good coverage than Maybelline Fit Me range so you can very well give this uh, range I would personally feel that 750 is okay for this foundation as it is compared to the Huda Beauty which is 3000 rupees so you can I would say I will I will definitely pay for this uh, foundation and I think that's it for the um, pros and for cons six pros so for the con is that it oxidizes so you should be, uh, should take you should be careful in picking up the right shade of foundation for you and I feel everything is most of the things is positive so six is to one so you can definitely check this out and uh, so that's it guys I hope uh, this video is quite helpful for you and if I did so please give me a good thumbs up and definitely do not forget to check the uh, so, uh, description box also I just uh, have a link of this product in the description box please to subscribe the channel and click the letter little bell icon next to it so that you'll not miss any of my video in future and do not forget to follow me on Instagram at Samyukta Vinod and finally my Facebook page is uh, Samyukta Vinod YouTube and you can just check out uh, all the uh, most of the update uh, about, about this videos and everything is just mentioned in this uh, Facebook page definitely do not forget to uh, check the, my other uh, social media network handles